Hey guys, Brandon here. I'm here in my garage with my Teslarini. I wanted to do a quick video on, um, well, it's not exactly an app, but it's it's something I found out about on uh, electric.co uh, today. There's a chat bot that was created by a company called Smart Car um, called Tesla Bot. And Tesla Bot is, uh, well, it's a chat bot and it interacts uh, via um, Facebook Messenger. So when you text it, it's basically an AI that you can give access to your Tesla login and then you can interact with it by chat to basically do anything that you could do on the Tesla app. I'm pretty hesitant about these things about giving my login credentials to apps and whatnot but I just had to try it because it sounded really cool. So now I want to just show you some of the things that you can do with it. Let's see what would you want to ask my car? The one they show on um, on the uh, like chatbot page and stuff is like finding out if your car is locked. So I'm going to type, is my car locked? Question mark. Oops. Your Tesla is currently unlocked and its doors are closed. Hmm. I don't know what tells me about the doors. Okay. Lock the car. Wow, that was fast. Your Tesla is now locked. Oh, look. So the button down there, it even has like a quick unlock button. So let me hit that, see how fast it is. Push. Boom. Now we're back. And also let me get the focus. How much is left on my battery? Question mark. I missed what you said. Say it again. I may have been making avocado toast. I had some trouble with this one earlier. Um, let's see. How much charge is left? I might get that confused with charging. Yeah, your Tesla is not plugged in and is not charging. The charge limit is set to 90%. And then there's one of those buttons that says start charge. Okay, how much energy is left on the battery? Your Tesla's battery is 71% and has an estimated range of 166 miles. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So that one you kind of have to word a little bit, right? You can ask it, uh, where is your car or where did I park? Which is super handy because it actually it actually gives you a, 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 a large thumbnail of Google Maps and shows you exactly where your car is parked. Are my windows closed? Sorry, can you say that again? Are the windows closed. It could tell me if the doors were closed, so I'm wondering if it can... I didn't get that. Okay, let's try that. Are the doors closed? Still not getting it. Let's see. Is the trunk open? Why isn't it getting this? Hmm. What's the temperature in the car. It's currently 76 degrees inside your Tesla and 63 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Now that's actually super handy because one of the finicky things I found about Tesla's app is that um, underneath the uh, underneath the climate sometimes like if you're logged in, it will say what the interior temperature is, and sometimes it won't say it until you tur turn climate control on, which is kind of inconvenient. So this is actually really nice. You can just text the question and say, how hot is it? And then it'll text it back. <clears throat> on a side note, the new thing this year is going to be, this summer I should say, is that the car now has a um, an upper limit of temperature that it allows. So it'll automatically cool the car, I think once it gets to 105, which is um, to prevent, you know, accidental deaths from people, well, children or pets overheating in a, in a parked car. 
Um, so it, it hasn't been hot enough here to, to test that out. Um, obviously not with a live subject, but um, just to see if it actually does keep the temperature uh, to that level. So that's coming future. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, set the temperature to, I have it set to 71, so I'm going to set it to 72, which should turn the AC on because it's 76 degrees in here. Oh, and now it's it's giving me this uh, option list of uh, degrees to set. So I guess it picked up on the um, temperature stuff and then is asking, it's giving me ranges. So I'll say, I'll say 71, so I'll hit that. It's on. <laughs> Pretty cool. Your car's climate control system is set to 71. It is currently 76 inside your Tesla. And then there's some options down here that says uh, stop climate, increase five degrees or decrease five degrees. So, whoop, almost dropped my phone. This is really handy. The, the, what would make this even more awesome is if you could do this by voice. So it integrated into, um, well, I have a Google phone. So if it integrated into Google Assistant, whew, that would be so awesome. Uh, I, I also have an Android watch, which doesn't work that well because it's old and it freezes. Actually, it's frozen now, so I can't show you. But I was getting these notifications because uh, it's a chat. It's um, Facebook Messenger can push notifications to a smartwatch. And you can also reply to them. So I could operate this through my watch, which is also really cool. All right, we did temperature. Um, it's too bad this isn't a live stream because then, then you guys could suggest stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I wonder if we can do calendar items. Let's see, what's on my calendar? Because I have my calendar synced inside the vehicle. Oops, I put what's in my calendar. Sorry, what was that? What's on my calendar. What's on my schedule? Can you say that again? Nope, it's not getting that. Mm, okay, climate controls. Controls, okay, that's kind of boring. You can flash the lights, you can honk the horn, um, and you can start the car, which I tried that and it didn't work. So let's try that again. Start the car. Ah, Okay, so then it's giving me this uh, option button right here to say start the ignition. It says, are you sure you want to start ignition? Which I don't know why they call it ignition. You can only stop it from inside your Tesla, which is strange. Start ignition. Keyless driving enabled. Ooh. Now that's a little bit sketchy because with the app, with the Tesla app, you have to either put your password in again or use your fingerprint, which, uh, by the way, is super convenient. Um, but it confirms you are who you are when you start the car. But now, if somebody gets in your phone and knows this exists, they can just pull up Facebook Messenger and start your vehicle. So that's a little, little sketchy. But anyway, your Tesla is started and ready for the open road. Um, so... I just pushed the brakes and now the mirrors went out. All right. Oh, there's a good one. Okay. Let's see if we can open the charge port. So let's try it with the um, with Google uh, voice to, to text here. Open the charge port. So that just, uh, that just typed it into the window and then I'll hit send. See what happens. Your Tesla's charge port is now open and then it has a button to close it. So... Um, oh, and it pulled up the uh, charging status on here. Close charge port. Now I should mention, uh, I mentioned some of this is a little bit sketchy. It's it's not technical. I mean, this is an uh, this is an official company. Um, it's it's been venture capital backed. It's uh, I think um, some of the smart software and the um, Ionique. Who makes that? Is it Hyundai? I think. Uh, is is made by this company called Smart Car, um, and they're using available Tesla APIs. So I, this isn't like a hack job or anything like that. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, let's see if it'll do. What's on the radio? 
can you say that again? No, it's not doing that. Okay. Charging. What are the charging ones? Okay, open. Okay. Let's try some summon stuff here. Now, I'm in the vehicle, so that's not really going to work, but I'm just going to say summon. Hmm. May not be allowed to do this. No, nope. can't get anything with summon to work. So let's let's see. What else would you use when you're out and you want to? Most of the time, when I use Tesla apps, Tesla app, it's either to look where I parked, which I don't use that often. Um, if uh, Lacey's driving the car, it's to see when she, you know where she is on her way home or something like that. Um, so that would that could do this. You can t you can ask it where's my car and it will tell you. Or where did I park? Um, I wonder if you can ask it how fast is it going? How fast is the car going? They also said that the uh, the, um, the artificial intelligence, the machine learning, um, is trained to accept questions many different ways. Your car speedometer currently reads zero miles per house. <laughs> per house. That's pretty slow. Okay, anyway, so when I'm out, I use it mostly for climate. I'm um, either starting heat or turning on the AC, basically preconditioning. I do use Summon at home uh, to bring it out of the garage sometimes, but I have hardware one, and so there's, there's no vision, uh, there's no image analyzation of the rear view mirror, so I just it always makes me nervous about that, doing it if I'm not watching the car. And if I have to stand there watching the car, like I may as well back it out myself. So that's not quite as useful. Okay, so that's Summon. Um, that's pretty much what I use it for, except maybe checking my referrals. And both of those things you can do with this. So I'll have to see, um, you know, which, you know, when I pull up my phone to do that, like which app do I actually go to? Do I go to the... Um, the Tesla app, which in the previous version it used to have, it used to take a little while for it to load up and stuff and connect to the car, but that's largely been, well, okay, with a new version that's been faster, and also I now have a faster phone. I used to have a pretty old, or it was like a two-year-old Motorola, uh, let's see, what was it, Moto X second generation, which was running kind of slow. Um, Anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's called Tesla Bot. Um, it's not an app that you download. It's it's actually a contact that you message on um, on Facebook Messenger, and then when you message it, uh, it will ask you to. Um, it'll send you a text with a little button to say log in with your Tesla credentials, and then it um, you know it it gets your uh, it gets your car, and then you. It tells you all the stuff that it will it wants access to to do its job and then you okay that and if you have multiple vehicles it you know there's check boxes for them um, so I'm gonna say tell me about my vehicle your vehicle is a 2015 Tesla Model S and the VIN is blah 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 well that's kind of handy I wonder if it can tell me my license plate license plate What was that? Hmm, apparently not. Um, what is my horse power? If I can travel in miles per house, then I should be able to get horsepower. Say that again, I couldn't hear you over the sound of my SpaceX rocket taking off. So I don't think it can give me that kind of info. Uh, let's see, how about state of charge? One more time. Okay. So it's a little, I mean, some of the questions, you kind of have to figure out what to, um, how to phrase it. How many miles do I have? 71% battery, estimated range of 166 miles. I'm hearing some clunks. I think my, my AC motor is making some sort of a clunk when it turns off. Okay, that's it. So, uh, yeah, Tesla bot. Um, a contact in Facebook Messenger run by a company called uh, Smart Car. Uh, really cool, huge potential here. Um, the only thing that bothers me, besides giving away my login stuff, is the fact that there's no 
credentialing um, once you tell it to start your car. Mm, a little nervous about that. But otherwise, super cool, and I hope it gets integrated with uh, Google Assistant. That would be um, that would be super cool. So I hope this was interesting and not too boring. Uh, check it out if you guys have uh, Facebook Messenger and you're um, okay sharing your car information with a um, chat box. Um, yeah. If you're interested in purchasing a Model X or a Model S, I still have referral credits as of today is May 23rd. Um, so if you would like $1,000 off and uh, free unlimited supercharging on that vehicle, feel free to use my uh, referral link. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, one last thing, because it's a Facebook Messenger contact, once it's active, um, it hangs out here as a little red dot that you can put wherever you want it so it's um, it's immediately available and quite convenient to get into and of course if you don't want it there you can just uh, drag it away like that but anyway that's um, I mean you can have the Tesla app there as well uh, which I do on another field but so it is availability on your home screen or your um, you know your phone screen is quite easy I should get some chapstick <laughs>